We are going to get started. You can see my little super tunias, um, and we are going to put those just kind of all along the front border. Every couple six, seven, eight feet, just for pops of color. Here's the marigolds. Then we've got um, the verbena, and this is the homestead purple. So this actually is a perennial. I only have four of those. Most of what I'm putting in are annuals, but this one will come back. And then we have these. These are my shortest little guys. And they are the Lobelias, and they are also a perennial. I thought they were. 
So these will also come back, which will be nice. And I think I have five of these and I've put them kind of in the front of the gardens so that they will come back. More of our pretty petunias, petunias. And you can see, so like right here, these, all these little green, those are all the vincas that have receded. Got more of the lobelia, more of the verbena. These three marigolds, I, I keep going back and forth. Part of me wants to move them in front of the lamb's ear. The other part wants me to leave them back there and split this lobelia up to be this front border. And I think that's probably what I'll do. Then this is the only area I do want vincas. I'm not seeing any receding. Got another petunia, lobelia, and verbena. I've got a bunch of stuff coming back around that tree. So that is everything we are going to plant today. We've got, you can see our, our supplies down here. I've got my kneeling pad. I've got regular shovel in my pocket and got some Osmocote and my drill with my auger on it, which I may not need since most of what I am putting in is areas that had plants last year and the soil should be fairly easy to work, but never know. So let's get to work. It is 5.40, so we have probably about an hour of sun left, but five to seven while it's peak um, no sunshade time, it is also peak mosquito time, which already you are a mess. 
which is not great for me. So everything is planted, everything is watered in, and the only thing we haven't planted are the strawberries, which my planter for those is at my mom's. We're gonna get those done. And everything around the tree. So I will probably just pop those in real quick uh, tomorrow when I get a minute, and then we will do the stock tape and the window boxes maybe in another video. So. If you want to see that video, I will try to leave a link for it below once it's finished. But other than that, you can check in the April video update. I'm trying to do a video every single month showing you the progression of the garden. So you can check out the April video that will be in a couple weeks to see how these plants are doing after a few weeks in the ground. But I am going to go ahead walk you along one more time now that everything's in the ground just let you see how it looks in the ground how happy everything is and how it's drinking up all the water and i don't know something about being outside makes me happy and bitty bitty happy <laughs> she got all wet but if you had fun stick around like comment subscribe we look like real people in some videos but today we're a mess we're gonna make some dinner Bye, y'all. Say bye, baby, baby. Can we go inside? She might need a bed. I know I do. Go get our step. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Good job, baby, baby. Good job, baby, baby. All right, Betty, you ready to show them everything we planted? So I did bring everything down here. I put my trash can away, but I have my four lavenders. The cucumber plant is going to grow up this trellis. And the watermelon I'm going to grow up this one. You can see last year's garden videos for how well the cucumbers grow up. I only ever got one watermelon last year, but I planted them very late in the season. So this year, hopefully we'll get more. But my petunia, my little marigolds. I'm really excited about these pretty marigolds this year. I do need to still plant these pincushion flowers but I haven't had much luck with these, like I said earlier. This one looks really wilty right here, so I think I might move them so he's over here, because this side of the tree is shadier than that side. He was more in the sun today. You give him a drink, move him a little more in the shade, see how they do tomorrow before I plant them. Right, Bit? Good call. Okay. Got our verbena, it should fill in nicely in front of this hydrangea. And then our lobelia. I do need to <laughs> replace these poor little lantern stakes with actual supports for the foxgloves. But we had a storm come through and that was my solution. Two more petunias. I do probably need to move this ball, but I don't know what to do with it. This should be a pretty little picture once everything grows in. And the petunias should really fill the whole space. Across the way, probably have vincas come in here. Petunia. Little patch of lobelia. Sorry if I'm making you sick. I'm trying to hold the camera steady. Another verbena, and it should grow. Nice and wide. Hopefully this lobelia will fill all the way in up here. And the little marigolds back there. Another little patch of snapdragons. And I do think maybe 
snapdragons down here I should have planted a couple months ago I only planted them about a month ago they would be maybe a foot and a half taller and have lots of blooms if I planted them early enough but even still they won't make it through our hot summers so about mid-july they will probably be pulled out and all these vinca babies will start filling in I'm thinking maybe vinca's here too but I'm not positive and our last couple plants petunia lobelia and verbena so everything's in in the whole bed I do still need to do the window boxes but I'll do those another day we got a lot done today Bye.